Hey everyone, this is update number 5 to this uh, 100 campaign launch challenge. In this update I'm going to go through a couple of little tips that I've come across um, throughout the challenge and just in general. Before we hit the stats and I show you how my 100 campaigns are doing, um, I think I've done about, I don't know, maybe 40 campaigns so far. I'm going to go through this uh, interesting new thing. You know, you guys know I love custom products and this is one of the reasons why Teespring became so damn popular is because just the variations of the, the products you could make uh, were unlimited. They're still unlimited. You can put any phrase, any picture, basically anything you want on those t-shirts. Not even to mention those mugs, those pendants, those caps, those phone covers and you know hundreds of other products which makes the variations even more bigger. So custom products are massive and a lot of dropshippers do really well with custom products. So this is something that I've seen um, pop up on my newsfeed quite a few times and they're custom canvases. Um, they're not actually custom canvases, a lot of people are actually just drop shipping the canvases they're finding on AliExpress um, straight onto their, their store. And I've seen this one go around, this one was doing really well. You can see 757 orders. But it made me think, why not kind of contact these guys and see if they can do a custom print for me and try and hustle them down for a price that's that I can kind of sell my products for and make a really good profit. And um, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna put this idea out for you guys, and let's see who kind of does it. I'm pretty sure you can make multiple businesses out of this idea. But you've got these five-piece canvases, and, and the, you can see the different types. You can the, you can see they're, they're these types. You can get this type of five-piece canvases. You can kind of do whatever you want with these canvases. You can put mix and match them. You can put some pieces at the top, some pieces at the bottom. Um, you can put single canvases, you can sell multiple canvases, um, you can see this one's selling pretty well too. Just in general, there's just so much you can do with canvases. Now imagine, a lot a lot of these are trademark um, infringed and you don't want to sell that kind of stuff like this. I wouldn't probably sell um, a picture of this guy, probably not going to sell that either. And you'd probably want to stay away from this stuff. But I mean, a lot of this arty stuff, um, pictures, photographs, why not go to people that love traveling, that take photographs or photography um, as a passion and, and contact them and, and tell them that you can set them up with an affiliate code to your web store, you can put their products on your store and give them a royalty fee every time something sells. And because this is kind of organic traffic and you can tell them to promote your, uh, your website through this, through their, um, you know, the description. And if any of them do well, and if any of them make a sale, then you can fulfill those orders. And because, like like I'm saying, these are free free traffic for you, so you're not spending anything on traffic. So even if you pay them a ten dollar royalty fee per sale, and you you would have profit twenty dollars from the whole thing, that's great. You're getting these for free. And imagine how many photographers are there on Instagram? How many photographers are there on Facebook? How many artists are there on Instagram and Facebook? People do a lot of things with art, and you can kind of go down and, and see what kind of things. Um, sell well or, or what kind of things people are looking for. You can read the likes and the comments. Um, you can see there's kind of average for it to get 700 likes. But anything out of the ordinary, you can kind of have a look at. No, no, no. Oh, there you go. 2,000 likes and 154. So maybe a picture of a waterfall on those canvases. You can try that. Uh, 625 comments. So I'd be contacting this guy or this particular artist and, tell, and telling them, hey, um, I'm happy to put these pictures on canvases for you and do some free marketing and you can try to do that free marketing too and any canvas set that I sell I'll give it I'll give you part of the sale and even if you get 10 or 20 decent sized photographers onto this giving you that free traffic and you're getting say 5 or 10 people to your website a day and you're converting at 1 to 2 percent which is really crap conversion rates usually you convert at about 4 percent so say you convert at 4 percent um, Four people buy these prints, you're making $20, $30 on each one. That's a $100 a day business. And you can definitely do that. Anyone can definitely do that. So I'm going to put it out there. If you guys want to check it out, try it. It's really up to you guys if you want to do the effort. Pretty much every video, I give you guys an idea to do. And these are the kind of ideas I look for to make my business separate to what people are doing currently. Because I, I don't want to do what everyone else is doing. There's so much competition. I want to separate myself and put myself in a zone where no one else is. Anyway, that's one thing. Um, let's take a look at some statistics. Last update, we had $770 worth of costs. Um, actually, no, 
uh, pretty much $1,300 worth of costs and $1,300 worth of revenue. So we were at a negative of $15.70, slowly going to the prof the, the um, positives. And the next update, um, which is this update, I've done $2,500 almost in revenue, which is about a whole thousand dollars more than my previous revenue. And this time we're in profit. We're in a profit $100. And that's including all my testing stuff, which is... De my testing in that alone is about, in, in, the, in those FB costs, is about $500. So if you were to minus the tests, then I would be actually in profit about six to $700 um, for the products that are winners for me. And um, the current product that I've got running is really interesting because um, I initially ran it to an audience that could only have been about 200,000 people, right? Now, a 200,000 reach audience usually saturates after about, well, it really depends on the, on the spend, but about two to three hundred dollars later, you should start seeing a drop in kind of sales. And you, you most people will stop profiting after that while, after that. Um, time not two to three hundred dollars worth of sales, sorry, two to three hundred dollars worth of FB costs. So with that two hundred thousand um, audience, I'd probably make about three to four thousand dollars worth of sales. Now that's recently started to kind of drop down. I made a lookalike audience off the the people that came through to that particular product link, and um, that lookalike audience is actually two million, so ten times the initial audience. And guess what? It's actually selling profitably to those people. So that was really interesting to me and um, I thought I'd put it out there because if you're getting products that are getting you a lot of clicks but no sales, try and make a lookalike audience and hitting it again. Um, I don't ex exactly know how Facebook goes around finding that lookalike audience but they just, so, you know, it's just a different audience and um, it might convert for you. Anyway, this is um, one of my stores again, $2,400. You can see that uh, at the start it was kind of up and down and then it started to stabilize, stabilize and now I'm kind of bumping the budget up and it's making a bunch of... Uh, really good days, three hundred, four hundred dollar days, almost. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, in terms of my ad costs, it's kind of the same deal as last time. Basically, you know, I'm realizing that you can really test products with just like two to three dollars these days. If you're spending two to three dollars and you're getting really crappy, con crappy clicks, and you're not even getting any clicks, like some of these products, they're not getting any clicks at all. And I'm happy to just cancel them after like a few bucks. I'm not going to spend more than $10 on a product that's giving me like one click per $2. It's not going to turn into a winner miraculously. So again, it's got me thinking, you know, I'm always thinking of, of ways to kind of optimize my time and all that kind of stuff. Look at this, a dollar for one post engagement, screw that, I'm stopping that after a dollar. At this same point, after a dollar, usually I get about 20 post engagements. So again, if it's showing me some really crappy signs, I don't even wait for it to even spend $5. I'll stop it straight away. A dollar twenty-six for a post engagement, which is like one like, so a dollar twenty six I'm spending for one like. That's a really crap. That's just like beyond crap. I don't even know if there's a word for that. So I'll stop. You can see a lot of these campaigns I've stopped at a one to two dollar, three dollar, four dollars, six dollars, seven dollars, and I'm starting to realize, you know, if I could get a VA to kind of launch twenty products a day at five dollars budget, and then kind of analyze it. And see if I can launch 100 campaigns a week. The more campaigns you launch, the more kind of successful campaigns you're going to find. Um, and I'm starting to, back in the day with Teespring, I used to spend a minimum of $30 to test. And I don't know why I did that, but that's what I did. And I think my success ratio was a lot better with Teespring then than it is today. Um, but these days, I'm starting to realize like $5 is enough in, in many cases to test a product. So... I'm thinking of launching like 20 products, getting a VA to launch 20 products, I'll give them the products to launch, they launch, they launch it, I check out the stats next day and uh, make a move on whether to continue or not. It is a very expensive ordeal but at the end of the day if you've got like 5 or 10 products making you $100 each and you're sitting on a $1,000 profit a day, why not spend another couple of hundred dollars in testing more products? So anyway, that's what i got for you guys so far. That's a lot of knowledge bombs. Um, take what you can and implement it. I want to see you guys be successful at this kind of stuff. I don't want to see you just read it. And uh, join my forum. That's where all the good stuff happens, where we discuss and talk and get better as, as dropshippers or e-commerce marketers. And 